my fat baby ate a key. Did you eat it? <laughs> which led me to my first mechanical keyboard, the Keychron K3. And here's what I thought about it. It sucks balls. So I picked up these MX keys mechanical and thought they were the best until I bumped into this guy. Here's my first impression the second I took it out of the box and started typing on it. Because I'm not a keyboard head, I don't even know if this is like a popular brand. I don't even know how much this thing costs. This thing has not let me down. I absolutely love this thing. I get a lot of productivity out of it. Will this replace this guy. So let's just do like a first impression how this thing feels. Love this keyboard. Oh my gosh. This is very addictive. Mm. To me, it doesn't matter that much how the keyboard looks or or feels to type on. For me, it's how productive I can be with it. Like how fast can I actually type and how many errors am I making? Things like that matter to me a little bit more. 101 words per minute on the first go. I'm glad I opted for the white one. This looks so clean. Let's just use this guy from now on. I'll be right back. Just gonna do normal human stuff on the keyboard now. Before any review I produce, I like to use the product for minimum two weeks before I even form a thought in my head. This goes for phones, watches, laptops, cameras, anything that I test for this channel. But within the first few days, this thing instantly made me a cult follower of mechanical keyboards. I'm currently recording the Pixel 8 review, as you can see. I'm using this Flow keyboard as my primary because I am gonna make a review on that next. It's only been a couple days, maybe three, four days, and I cannot go back to the MX keys. I have turned into this keyboard guy. And the reason, it's how good it feels. I don't know how to explain it. How can I explain how good something feels? You know what? I'm gonna put, okay. So this stuff, I don't use for YouTube because this is like freaking expensive and it takes ages to set up. It records in 32-bit float. You probably don't even know what that means, but it means it records in super duper 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 high quality. Just so that you can hear how good this thing feels. So give me a sec, let's go down to the garage and bring out the C-stand. Oh crap, let's go. Haven't used this thing in ages. Super duper high quality microphone. I'm gonna type, I'm gonna try to type the exact same thing. Oh my goodness, this sucks. Now, nah, chuck this thing in the bin. Right after that side-by-side -side test, I sold it. This is for you. This thing was addictive. I just brought it everywhere with me. So how the hell did they engineer this satisfaction? This keyboard is apparently the world's first low profile keyboard with Kalech full POM switches and gasket mount. What does that mean? I have no freaking idea, but it sounds gangster. And they were able to achieve the smoothest key presses by using this self lubrication tech, which apparently gets smoother over time with use. I'm sorry, I did say that I'm turning into this keyboard guy, but clearly I'm not, because I have no idea what any of this technical lingo means. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't be able to answer any of the questions that you have. My wife actually just came back from work, so I'm gonna like, let her try the two different keyboards and see what she thinks. Honey? Yeah? Test, test. Hmm. To me, I think I can type better with this keyboard. I like this one better. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look of this, but I like the typing feeling of this. Okay. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> my wife prefers the tactile. I actually have tactile switches for this. So I'm gonna do my first keyboard switch switching. Man, there's something therapeutic about doing this. Oh, this is clicky clacky. It didn't take me as long as I thought. Let's see what it feels like. There's uh, something very satisfying about these sounds. Do you want the MX keys? Yes. Or do you want the low free flow? Which one do you want? You want low free flow. Okay. <laughs> it has been decided. This one wins. Don't eat this one, okay? Okay. Good. Now, one of the major selling points, other than typing speed for these MX keys, was the build quality, and not the materials that it's made in, because I just realized this is made out of plastic, but it's more how everything just seems to work. The keyboard wakes up from sleep really well, the Bluetooth connection is perfect, I never need to put cables in it unless I'm charging, things like that. So let's see how good the low free keyboard is with all that kind of stuff. But in terms of build quality, this thing is light years ahead. Everything is made out of metal, look at that. Have a look at that. It's got this engraved, oh my gosh, this feels amazing. Zero flexing. It does have these cool LED strips on the sides of the keyboard, so it does illuminate the table and it does look pretty when it's pitch black, but uh, I don't give a crap about that. Okay, so it's been sleeping for like 20 minutes. Ooh. Dude, the fact that it instantly wakes up, that's already an A plus in my books. The Keychron K3 in this build quality department wasn't too bad. It didn't like it wasn't it didn't feel cheap or anything like that. But it just fell apart when it came to the product actually working. It just didn't work, man. Like on Bluetooth, it would take forever to reconnect to the computer. It was just I don't know. It looked like some kid made it. <laughs> really? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, 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 guys! I have an awesome update. So. I approached the guys that make this keyboard and said, let's do a giveaway. I just got an email and they said, we would love to do a giveaway. In order to win one of these keyboards, all you got to do is uh, make a comment on why you want the low free containing the word low free. And, and also you got to just uh, like and just share the video. Now, one of these keyboards will go out. And if we hit 20,000 views on this video, low free is willing to send another keyboard. And the thing is, because I'm a small ass YouTuber, your chances of winning is very high. I mean, if I was MKBHD or Mr. Who's the Boss doing this thing, your chances are very low. But I've got like 10 subscribers. Thank you, Lofree, for jumping on board with me because I love this thing and I think my audience will love it as well. Ooh, and both winners can be a Lofree Flow version 2 tester in Q1 of 2024. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get wife to jump on again to see what she thinks about these switches. Honey? Yeah. Oh, I like this! <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel good? Yeah, it feels good. Does it feel good? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, I like the... Now, now try that one. Type on that. I like this one better now. Good, okay. You just saved yeah, the I segment. like this texture too. Okay. I personally like the linear non-clicky clacky, so I'm gonna switch them back to these ones because I just love that smooth ass feeling. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. When my wife's out of the, the toilet, let's read some comments actually. And your video makes me want to sell this and get a pixel. <laughs> What's your advice? Yeah, stay with the iPhone. <laughs> I want to try the Galaxy Folder, the thing. It's called Galaxy Flip. Oh, Galaxy Flip. First of all, I like your table. You have some stuff on it. Not like super polished guys, which seems to be faking a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't clean a single thing from the table when I record my videos. Need Apple Watch Ultra video. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I'm, is this Apple Watch? This is Apple Watch Ultra. It's coming, I can do something crazy with it. I'm gonna go spear fishing. What's spear fishing? Spear fishing. This? No, not this, it's... Oh. <laughs> but in the water, in the ocean. Really? Catching fish with Steven. He's the only guy that made, want, made me 
want to use the sponsored software. I'm downloading it now. Shout out, what's his name? Tekni Specky. <laughs>